So the FinCEN BOI, Beneficial Ownership Information Report, needs to be filed by every new LLC within 30 or 60 days. They change the rules all the time, but basically after you open it, by old LLCs that were in existence before 2024, you have until the end of 2024 to file the form. Now, in this video, I'm going to go through a lot of the uh, questions that I've gotten in the past. People are asking on the videos, what happens if I don't have a passport or a U.S. address or any of these things? I'm going to go through the actual application. I'm going to submit it for a new company I just opened. You can see that in the other video, how to open an LLC for free. I opened an LLC and now I'm going to submit the BOI report. So I'm going to share my screen and go through it. All you need to do to submit the BOI report is have your company have your EIN number, and then have an address you're going to use. And again, you don't need a uh, an actual address in the U.S. You don't need a, a physical address. You can do it with your a virtual address as well, and I'll go through this in the video. So if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll try and answer your questions in the comments. But this video should be addressing all of the questions that have been asked in the prior videos, as well as doing it again live for you, showing you how to submit the BOI report. You shouldn't have to pay someone to do this. You can do it yourself. Okay, let's get to it. I'll share my screen. Uh, BOI e-filing system, I think, is the one we're looking for. Beneficial ownership information reporting. Bang, let's do it. File an online BOIR. Don't need Adobe. Submit it now. Great, I agree. This is an initial filing for my new LLC that we just went over. Here it is. It's my random number LLC. Great. Day prepared today. Reporting company information. We do not want a FinCEN ID. And it's not a foreign investment in vehicle. So reported company legal name, bang. Tax identification type, we just got an EIN and we got that on here. And it's seven, seven. Bang. Country, no dash. Formation, this is a Wyoming LLC. Well, I guess it's gonna be United States. State of formation, we have Wyoming. And then we have the current US address. Now. This is the question I'm getting from everyone. I search in the FAQs. This is the FAQ, the facts. What address, let me see if I can zoom in a little. What address should a reporting company report if it lacks a principal place of business in the United States? If a reporting company has no principal place of business in the United States and conducts business at more than one location, the reporting company may report that its primary address in any of those locations where you receive important correspondence. If a company has no address, no business, doesn't do anything, then you can use your registered agent address, basically, or anywhere where you can receive any correspondence. They should say you use some kind of address on there. What type of tax identification number should be reported for a disregarded for U.S. tax purposes? A disregarded entity. That's a good one that I didn't even read through, but it's uh, they we're using an employer identification number. Going through the filing. Honestly, I'm going to use my main address at my office. Existing reporting company. It was not existing last year, so it's a new company. Company applicant one, I do not have a FinCEN ID. I never registered for one. I probably should. Now we're doing individual's last name. That's me, Baker James. I'll blur out my birthday. I don't want you, I don't want any more birthday cards. Thank you for blurring my birthday. Now, current address. We're gonna use just a business address. Let's use my office again. Now, form of identification and issuing jurisdiction. Let's let's Google search the let's go through this um, FAQs. What are acceptable forms of identification that will meet the reporting requirement? A non-expired U.S. driver's license, a non-expired identification within the United States governments, a non-expired passport by the U.S. government, or a non-expired foreign passport. If you don't have the other ones, so if you don't have a foreign passport or any U.S. identification. That's the question I'm getting. What do I do? Well, you should still submit the report and maybe write on a piece of paper, I have no foreign passport. Here's my foreign driver's license. And then submit that. That's what I would submit because there's no guidance. There's no other option for you. And I'd rather submit it with that information than not submit it at all and, and you know come out with any kind of penalties or issues. So for me, I'm going to upload on this one my passport because that's allowed. And let me find my number. I uploaded my passport. I put the passport number. I have no FinCEN ID, no benefic no parent guardian of a minor child, no exempt entity. Uh, and now we're doing into the legal name and date of birth of the beneficial owner, which is me. And they want my residential address here. So let me put in my Baker James. I'm putting this on the internet. I'm going to put on my correct address where I actually am living. You blur this one as well. If you don't have an address where you're living in the U.S., you can put a foreign address on here and you can also 
put any address on here, really, as long as it's an accurate address where you can receive mail. So now I have to submit my passport again because first I did it for the company applicant. Now I'm doing it for the actual beneficial owner. Uh, willful failure to report or complete information to FinCEN is a problem. And there's civil penalties, potentially compliance reminder. I am a human. Oh, this is a fun CAPTCHA. Uh, oh, 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 I have to actually put my email and sign it. I'm going to put my business email. I agree. And so I'm putting my name and my email in there. I click agree. I say I'm a human and I submit the report. It could take up to two minutes to submit. Okay, download transcript. Filing successful. Okay, cool. So I got the confirmation the filing was successful. I have, I'm going to save that in my files and I am good to go. So this is basically all it says. So I downloaded the transcript. I have the tracking ID. I'm all in good shape here. I filed my BOI report. So again, let's go through the steps. We opened a free company with busy. Great. We got our EIN number right away. It might take you five days. I go through everything in the EIN video on there. So maybe I don't know. My team is going to pick one of these. Start with the open, how to open an LLC for free. That's a great video. And then uh, now we just did a BOI report. The next video, I'm going to open a bank account and then I'm going to open some, maybe I'll do it, get an ITED. Maybe I'll get some other stuff. So make sure you like and subscribe. And guys, if you want to stop watching YouTube videos and go back to making money for your business, you can schedule a call with me and my team. We can just do this all for you very quickly, very efficiently with addresses, with everything. It's really easy, really done for you if you work with us. If you have time and you're just getting started, keep watching the videos, share with your friends, and I appreciate you. But if you're... <laughs> If you're watching this instead of closing clients and you have money to make and you're doing a bit well, just call us and we'll just do it for you much faster. Okay, that's why I'm on here YouTube, to help the people getting started and to meet new clients who need our help. So thanks for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you.